Hey guys, and yes, today welcome back to Ironic Sims and we are back with another Sims 4 tutorial video and today we're going to be learning about how to use move, the move objects on cheat and uh, and this one is called bb.moveobjectson which is pretty cool. Uh, so basically to enter a cheat you, you hold on control shift and then press C and then you type bb.move objects on there we go and then uh, and then basically uh, and then basically now uh, you can basically place so let's say I want to take this uh, fridge I can put the fridge here or I could put the fridge here or I could put the fridge anywhere um, I could even put the stove here so I can uh, so I can do all of that now the move objects on cheat has got uh, has got um, you know some 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 very nice uh, and unique uh, features so let's say i want to put this stove on top of the counter well in the sims 4 you can although this actually does look pretty cool except when it bugs out like that but anyway so uh, how do i do that well i hold control and then i tap nine and by tapping nine i can then move it on top just be careful though if you don't play stuff properly it could end up uh, and, and if you place it too high it could actually end up lo looking like this where the stove is flying but i mean but now but now it's fine look at that so it is on top of the counter now your sims won't actually be able to use it but um they'll be fine so uh, to put the stuff down so what you do is you hold control and then you hold um, and then you tap and then you tap uh, zero and and presto that's where it is again yep so that is uh, so that's one of the 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 basic features now now uh, i'm going to show you guys something else which you don't actually need the the move objects on cheat but i i i actually use this thing um, basically more often only when i'm using the, the move objects cheat so uh, so basically like I said you don't need to cheat t to do this but it's something to bear in mind so let's say I wanted to make a super super large toilet uh, toilet so I can do that so basically you hold uh, this and you can make it a, and you can make it as as big as you want I mean like even like I've actually never seen how big you can make this um, I mean this is huge i mean as you can see like the kind of stuff is you know just doing that so if we go uh, never mind i'm not going to do that but anyway you guys can see what i mean i mean this is like a gigantic toilet and everything so yeah let's get rid of that because that's crazy so so you can basically you know change the size of objects move it up and down or down and up whatever uh, whatever gets you guys going so um so you, so you can use that so oh yes and um something new to the game w which i actually forgot to mention let's say i want this fridge i can actually uh, so you basically press this button to large but then you can also you know bring the size up so if i if i wanted to do that what i could do is i, I could then you know just you know uh, have like a mini fridge i can have like my own like tiny fridge i can put on the counter Let's check. Yep, perfect level. There we go. So that can stay there. So that's how you uh, size up and down objects. Now another thing is, um, uh, let's add some. Let's add some some like some like decorations around the kitchen. So here here is what we can do. Um, let's say I want to add this, and I can do that, but it just takes up a lot of space. So. Uh, if I wanted to add uh, the bread bin as well, and you see now I cannot add any more. Uh, but if we move the counter away, and then we click on it, and then we hold control, we can actually move stuff freely around. Um, so basically, it all depends on the height. So if you put it on a on a low uh, coffee table or something, it will be at that height. But if you put it on the counter, it will be at that height too. So let's let's work some magic so let's do this let's put this over here and then let's uh whoops sorry my bad so if we put this over here we can then we can then put this over here let's maybe move it a bit back you see every time it does it it uh 
it snaps to the to the wall over there but that's fine because you can just bring it back um i can get to the dishes over here so first of all you have to place it there remember and then you can you know put this over here okay what other stuff can we put around um i don't I don't know what else we would be able to put. Um, uh, there we go. So we can get that. And um, so maybe get this. We can maybe put this around. There we go. So we can put this over here. Now, I often also uh, find a lot of other stuff inside the kids area, which is, which is definitely worth it. So we can do this. So... Yeah, so we can get some more some more cooking devices over here. I mean, utensils, sorry. And and you see like with this we can put so much more on these counters. Like like check this like check this out, guys. There's like we can even put like okay, I don't think we, I think we're going to run out of space here, but we can even put it there. There we go. So now when when we put it there, look at that. So now we've got a a kitchen full of clutter. There we go, and all the all the detail is sorted and everything. So that's fine. And now, um, so that's so that's how you add uh, that's how you add clutter over there. I showed you guys how to how to size up and down objects. I showed you guys how to add how to you know uh, uh, put stuff in advanced places where you cannot actually fit them, even with move even with move objects on. So that's uh, that's uh, something, I guess. All right. So anyway, guys, uh, that was the move objects on sheet. I'm gonna leave it to you guys to um, uh, to basically, you know, explore, experiment, do whatever, you, do whatever you gotta do. And um, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys very much for watching. Give me your feedback, like I always say, so I can give you some 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 tips and advice if you need any help but I, I will see you guys next time so thank you guys very much for watching and have a lovely day <laughs>